Okay, let's pass bomb. Kind of actually just went through his countermeasures. All right, he's about a mile out. He's probably panicking right now. He has nowhere to go. Oh, oh, he's right there. All right, fire. It's gonna be Fox 3. Oh, he blew up. Oh, that let out a massive noise there at the end. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Simple Planes. And yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some awesome creations. So we have a bit of a wide variety of creations. Obviously, you're seeing the, uh, the mech here, or the... Would this be the... It's from Gundam, but is this a Gundam? I, I really don't know much about the show. I know I used to collect the toys because they looked awesome, and I love to play with them. But yeah, we're going to be checking this out with a couple other creations. Uh, they will be linked down in the description if you want to play with any of the creations you see in today's episode. And if you're enjoying Simple Planes on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button. Helps out my channel. And man, that looks awesome. Alright, so this is listed as the MS-07B3. Uh, this thing is really, really cool. And it does shoot its gun. It pretty much does everything. I don't think it walks. But it says it's got a flight mode. Now, whether or not that's just some sort of transformation, or if it actually flies, I do not know, but we're going to figure that out here. So, first thing I always want to do, kind of play with the VTOL controls. Oh, there we go. This thing does move. <laughs> it kind of actually dances around. That's cool looking. That's, like, legit cool. What is this adjusting? Is that possibly... I can hear it moving something. Uh, I'll have to see. All right, so one is flight mode, two is the head gimmick, whatever that means. I guess, oh, that's that, okay. Does that move up and down? No, okay. So you've got that, let's go and turn the head off. Uh, three shoots the gun, which it's got a, oh, that is cool! Oh, I love how that aims. Okay, so if I were to fire it, oh, there goes its minigun. Man, if this thing would walk, wait, does this thing walk? Wait, are you, you're kidding me, right? This thing actually walks, hold on. Let's try this again. Okay, it, you know, it somewhat walks. Uh, if I can get momentum here. Up, 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 okay, come on, do the flop. Okay, it's fine. Okay, maybe if the gun wasn't out like that. Hold on, let's put the gun back in. All right, so could we, uh, I thought I was gonna say this thing couldn't walk, but it might actually somewhat, oh, it, oh, it's, <laughs> it leans. All right, let's see if we can get this thing to, it kind of maneuvers around. It actually does like a bunny hop thing. I do like how it manages to land on its feet every time. That's pretty cool. All right, so four is the Gatlin cannon and the Vulcan on and off. Thought, oh, well, we probably wanted that. Um, okay. Well, I guess we have a, a new gun now. Is this the same gun? Can I control this? Is this a cannon? This kind of looks like a cannon. Does this thing actually have missiles? Let's go... No, it doesn't have any missiles on it, so... Let's see, and seven, I believe, is the arm angle, so I'm assuming we can adjust that maybe with this over here. That is too cool. I really like this. All right, let's go into flight mode real quick. So, are you serious? This thing does fly. That, that is incredible. Okay, how can I, can I actually, like, really maneuver this thing is the question. Uh, oh, <laughs> Wait, what is that? Is that like a whip or something? Hold on. Hit that again? Is that just another stream of bullets coming? I think it is. All right, well, that is something. Can we adjust the flight controls here? Hold on, let's turn off, like, the arms and stuff. Let's go and turn all that off. And then actually stay in flight mode. There we go. Let's see if I can adjust its uh, trajectory here. All right, it does seem like I can get some sort of forward momentum. It doesn't like really go that far forward. At least it doesn't feel like it does. What if I turn eight off? Oh, eight, I'm pretty sure that was like it's gyro. That's what was keeping it upright. All right, turn that back on. Uh, let's go ahead and lose speed here. This is probably one of the most detailed and incredible creations I've seen on Simple Planes. And when I saw it, I was like, man, that thing's gonna lag and it's uh. No, it's not laggy at all. All right, let's go ahead and lose altitude here. Let's see if we can perform a landing without crushing it. I'm pretty sure we're going to kill ourselves here. All right, we're losing altitude here. Let's go ahead and fire the thrusters up slightly. I want to start slowing myself down here. Okay, let's go a little more aggressive. 
Man, if you had like an army of these fall out of the sky, I'd probably poo myself. All right, here we go. Uh, we're gonna land on the beach here. Come on, come on, lose more speed. All right, uh, it's gonna be close. All right, yeah, we're doing good here. All right, let's go and turn ourselves here. Okay, uh oh, uh oh, I'm going towards the ocean, hon. Go that way, brace yourself. All right, uh oh, we might land in the water here. Uh, I'm picking up speed. Okay. Counter it, counter it, counter it. Uh, you know, this is going to be pretty soft. We are going to land in the water, though. I don't think I have an option there. I think that's already been settled. Still, nonetheless, this is cool. And, bloop. <laughs> I don't know if there's an actual bottom to that water. I think as soon as you touch it, you just go down instantly. That is awesome. That is probably up there with one of my top creations I've ever played with. All right, let's move on to uh, maybe some planes. All right, so this is another beauty here. Here's an F-15. This thing is spectacular looking. Uh, it caught my eye on the workshop. It looked extremely detailed. Uh, check this out. This thing's got a nice, really, really nice cockpit here. Uh, boom. That is amazing. People make that out of the parts in the game. Like, that is so detailed. Now, this thing does uh, come complete with an injection seat. Uh, it's got a little parachute, I believe, for said seat. So you won't just plummet to your death. Uh, it does look like it's uh, equipped with quite a bit here. It's got four interceptors, four uh, guardians, and I believe it's got six, yeah, six bombs, and then one like big Bertha on the bottom of it. So I think this thing's going to do quite a bit of damage. Let's go ahead, turn weapon systems off. That way we don't get targeted here. And let's get moving. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. All right, let's get rolling. I don't know why it keeps going to the right when it's just setting there on the runway. It kind of pulls itself. It's a little strange. All right, let's go ahead and see landing gear up. I do believe one drops your uh, your fuel tanks here. So I think we're going to want to do that. Uh, let's go full speed. Man, this is glorious looking. I would say let's attack the fleet, but it's only got bombs on it. So you would actually have to be like really good at aiming bombs which I'm terrible at so we really need an air-to-air -air target well, let's go and drop the tanks real quick there we go all right that is glorious looking let's go ahead and check and see how maneuverable it is it feels good I always worry though when you have a bunch of bombs stacked on your planes and simple planes uh, it seems like when you pull really hard or you bank sometimes they'll damage them and I've seen planes explode out of nowhere is because of it but no that feels good uh, let's go ahead we're gonna drop Big Bertha on the island real quick because I want to see it go off uh, let's turn here and what we're gonna do I actually I might be able to somewhat bomb actually I'm gonna be way off here uh, let's release it there it goes see it go off waiting for it waiting for it uh, I see it up there you guys probably can't oh that's gonna be really close to the hangar oh are you serious oh we actually went over the hangar not by far though that was that was way closer than I expected all right so I think we need an air target but the problem is with air targets they, they tend to be laggy when you spawn in an AI I, you know what we're gonna have to do it let's uh let's have a dog fight here now I've got a couple things in mind that I can spawn I've got a couple really unfair ones uh, there's one called the uh, the Lancaster Formation, which is a World War II. I believe it's a British bomber, if I'm not mistaken. Do correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but it's actually three planes spawned in at once. Now, yes, it is a World War II airplane, so this matchup makes no sense. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be eh, fairly defenseless. Actually, there they are right there. You can see them. Yeah, but I think it's actually a really neat concept. You don't see it happen too much uh, with the multiple planes in one creation so oh it is a little bit laggy but yeah there's three of them flying in the air now question is when I go air to air does it only want to target I'm assuming it only targets the lead one and if that one goes down do the rest go down I'm pretty sure that's a thing all right let's go ahead and turn uh, we'll hit them with the <laughs> interceptors here uh, we are locked on I want to turn I want to see the chaos happen all right so there they are they're all lined up Oh, the poor bombers. This makes no sense, but it's kind of cruel, actually, once you think about it. A modern jet, World War II bombers, they don't have a chance. 
Uh, by the time they're like side gunners or the bubble gunners, I don't know what kind of guns these things have on them. Uh, by the time they get to you, they're like, oh yeah, the modern jet's just pretty much gone. And yep. Uh, oh, oh, that was glorious. Oh, that looks cool. Oh wow. Oh, and the lag's instantly gone. Uh, there's still one bomber. See, the targeting's gone though. So it only, and that's just the way simple planes works. It only wants to target the one AI plane, even though there's still one in the air. So we took out the lead fighter now. It's probably going to lose, like, its pathing. It's going to go down here, I believe, the one that wasn't touched. I kind of wish that we had, like, a missile cam there. That would have been kind of cool to see. Man, that was a really, really unfair fight. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's dump some more of these bombs real quick. Uh, let's get rid of these. We got, like, six of them here. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, that is really cool. So, wait, what are... Okay, the Guardians are, I think, this one, this one, this one, and that one? Uh, yeah, because the Interceptors, you can see one's gone there. I don't have any other air-to-air -air targets. I guess we could... Let's spawn in one more plane. Let's spawn in something modern. That way it doesn't feel completely cheap. Uh, to have something like a... I probably have, like, an F-16 around here that we can spawn in. Uh, I got the Night Falcon. Hopefully it's not too laggy. Uh, let's go. Boom. Night Falcon should be... Should be in. Okay, it's three miles out. Oh, it's already shooting countermeasures. It knows what's up here. All right, let's go interceptors. Uh, oh, oh, it's a little laggy. Oh, is he locking? Oh, he tried to get a little bit on me. Oh, dude, you've probably waste, wasted probably all of your countermeasures there, dum dum. He's still dumping them. Come on, let's just let's harass him for a second. Let's get him to waste all of those. Look at them all in the air. All right, let's go ahead and release one. Fox 3. Oh, that took a really hard curve. He's going to be down. There's no way he doesn't go down. Uh, that, there he goes. Oh, wow. He really blew up. Yeah, I don't know why he wasted all the... I mean, I guess we had the initial lock, but he would have broken it uh, with the first one he launched. Uh, let's spawn one more. All right, got another one in air that's going to be right behind us. Five point... Uh, well, about six miles out. He might be going in the opposite direction. Oh, you're going to lock onto us, buddy? I'm Actually, you know what? I haven't checked. Does this thing have countermeasures? We better do a little test here. Oh, yeah. Actually, they're right there on the top. Should have seen that. All right. Look at him. He's wasting them again. I've never seen the AI react like that. Yeah, this is going to be easy. Easy mode here. Come on. Uh, let's go cockpit here, actually. There we go. We're locked. Uh, okay, let's pass bomb. Kind of actually just went through his countermeasures. All right, he's about a mile out. He's probably panicking right now. He has nowhere to go. Oh, oh, he's right there. All right, fire. It's going to be Fox 3. Oh, he blew up. Oh, that let out a massive noise there at the end. All right, so we're in the seat. Can we eject from here? Will this camera follow it? I hope it does. Uh, let's go. Uh, oh, all right, hold on. Parachute is out. Boom. We've ejected. Actually, I think the plane's still full speed, and it's gone. That is cool. That was actually kind of fun. I don't know what was up with the F-16 spamming its uh, countermeasures like that. Like, I wasn't even locked on half the time, and it was getting rid of them. Oh, well. All right. Well, I think we're ready to move on to the next creation. All right. So, we have the English Electric. I can't even say what that is. It's right there. Uh, I can't pronounce that. And this is like one of those experimental crafts. I believe it gets launched from this. And it looks absolutely amazing. So, one's going to launch the platform. Two's going to launch uh, the actual plane, I guess. And then, I guess you can release the booster pack. I like creations like this. This is obscure. It looks awesome. And I think this is going to be really fun to do. Oh, this doesn't look safe at all. What the heck? Can we actually adjust... Oh, yeah, we can move it from side to side. Let's go move it that way. Is that up and down? Or no, I think it's just one's actually up and down. So let's lift the platform here. Okay, stop moving. Uh, stop moving, please. You know what? It's going to move a little bit. This doesn't look safe at all. <laughs> That's uh, it's really cool, but I think we're about to die. So let's go. Do I need to throttle up ahead of time? Oh, let's keep it at... 100% throttle. Let's go. Two and three. Two. One. Go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh oh No, 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 no. Oh, well, that is a uh, mission failure. Apparently, we did not ignite the uh, 
the rockets there. Yeah, that went swell. So this is really different. So you have to activate the ground attack rockets, hold the fire button, which it's that. What in the heck? And then once you're confident that they're all ready to go, we hit two. What? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a creation like this. This thing's using the rockets from the... Wait. I am so confused by this. This thing uses the rockets from the weapons. It just aims them backwards. Hans, get rid of the booster pack. So, we're... Oh, you have to keep these lit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, how long does this go? I am so confused by this. It's very, very neat, though. Don't get me wrong. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. This is weird. Oh, buddy. All right, so uh, what happens when we deselect those? Does it... Yeah, if I release them, they they turn off. Is it still going? Is there any other... No, its throttle is literally the rockets. What the heck? That is cool. All right, so can I select my air? See, how do you select these, though? Actually, it might have stayed on that time. Oh, it stayed on. That is a... That's a weird creation, I must say. <laughs> it's actually, it flies well. I mean, it's really maneuverable, but I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in Simple Planes. Uh, something activated by rockets. All right, this thing doesn't have the tightest turning radius, but we're going to make it work. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Yeah, we're going to make it work here, folks. All right, I need to be able to see. There we go. All right. Let's go camera out. Uh, oh! Ooh, did that... That make a hole in it? It's smoking. <laughs> I don't know if it's going down, but geez. That was aggressive. That was really cool, though. Uh, uh, she might be going down. Actually, I think the aircraft carrier is fine. That is a very, very neat creation, though. I like that. All right, so we have another creation. This is called the ASYQ0168. Uh, I don't really know what that stands for or what this is, but all I see is this massive bomb here on the front of it. So let's go ahead and spawn it. I love these really obscure crafts. So uh, actually, let's change the weather here. It's a little dark. So yeah, that's that's something. Is there landing gear on this? Okay, let me read instructions here. So it says seven is the weapon rack separation. I'm assuming we want to keep that on. And then eight is the hover mode. So, I'm assuming this is kind of like a VTOL, which 8's already on, so... Does that... Oh. Okay, I'm hearing an additional... Oh! Ho, ho, ho! That is... Oh, that actually flies really well. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, okay. Oh, I almost screwed myself up there. This thing is fast. Oh, dear. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, so... You kind of have to keep its nose pointed upwards, but... What if we were to lose some speed? Does it still do it? Yeah, it does uh, tend to want to go down. This is a really odd looking craft. Does anybody know what this is from? Or is this just a concept craft that was created by the creator? Uh, let's see, what do we have? No air to air weapons. And ooh, four Infernos, 56 rocket pods, and one boom. I'm assuming the one boom is that massive behemoth. So, I guess once you're done with all that, the weapons rack is detachable. Where are the other bombs at? I see... Those look like rockets there, but... Uh, I'm kind of curious. Let's, uh... Oh, those are... Yeah, those are the rocket pods right there. Where are the Infernos at? Does anybody see those? Uh, looking for the Inferno rockets. I don't... Oh, no, I don't see them. Uh, maybe they're tucked in. Possibly behind something. Alright, let's turn towards the, uh... Yeah, let's take out the destroyer and stuff over here. So question is, if I turn off the hover mode, does it turn to full-on aircraft? Let's go. Oh, it does. Well, that actually handles really nice now. So it's got a VTOL mode, and it's got a normal aircraft mode. Now, does it have guns? I hear a gun going off. I don't see it peppering, though. Okay, there it is. All right, so it's got guns. All right, let's target something here. Uh, the Infernos are not targeting here. Actually... I wonder if we can hit the aircraft carrier with the boom. Let's go back to hover mode. Let's get it stable. We're just going to plop a bomb down on it. Uh, let's slow it down. So they don't see what's coming here. It's just an aircraft carrier 
Uh, it's gonna be hit by this, so hopefully. Let's go ahead and slow it down even more. Like, I don't even want to be carrying much speed at all when I drop this thing. Uh, we need to go slower. Just want to basically be hovering. Actually, we might be able to hover over it. How fast does this thing slow itself down? Oh, that's crazy. Is there a bomb camera? Uh, no. Okay, so... Uh, let's pick up a little bit of speed here. We want to be right over our target. Probably looks like some sort of weird alien craft, like, coming over the aircraft carrier. We're going to sink this thing. This is going to be cool. All right, let's go. Boom. And this might take several attempts, by the way. Uh, we're going to drop. This looks like a nuke, so we're going to call it a nuke. Let's wait, 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 wait. Okay, drop. Let's see what happens. Where are we close? Here goes. Moment of truth. Oh, that's going to be close. That's going to be close. Come on. Come on! Oh, da, 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 da. no! We were too high. It dropped right behind it, right behind it. Let's see if it still goes off. That is a negative Ghost Rider. We have lost our payload. Um, oh, I got a little lag clip there. Did it go off underwater? Man, we need to just get right above it and drop it. Would that be cheating? That might be cheating. I don't care. Let's do it. All right, folks, we're gonna get really close this time. Uh, let's go air to ground. No, 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 don't target it. Oh, geez, they're gonna be firing at me, aren't they? Okay, they're not firing at me. It's good. All right, let's get ourselves up here. Slow down. Oh, uh, we're gonna deliver a nice little Christmas present. Uh, keep moving. Okay, let's move a little forward here. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go. Let's go up. And we're gonna drop that. Uh, are you serious? No, we're not gonna miss it this time. Are you serious? <laughs> right off the deck of it. All right, there's no way we miss it this time. We're coming in low. All right, come on, come on. Okay, let's get her lined up here. All right, no way we miss this. No way at all. All right, let's go, whoop. There it goes. Oh, don't go out the back. Come on, buddy. Come on, you got it, champion. You got it. Yeah! Oh, that was a huge explosion! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, we might want to book it now. All right, let's get the heck out of here. That was a mad... That was a nuke. Uh, we we'll want to call it a nuke. Uh, there's only nuke mods. I don't know if the base game has a nuke, but that was a massive explosion. All right, USS Beast is... Is it down? Kind of looks like it's up. Hold on. We might have to come back around and hit it again. What are you doing, beast? All right, do I need to target you again? I guess I do. All right, here we go. Oh, give me a lock here. Give me a lock, there we go. There goes that. And let's release one more. Oh, well, those hit. How is she not down? Something doesn't seem all right. Let's go countermeasure. Come back through. Do we really need to hit you again? Let's get rocket pods. Uh, you know, I'm terrible at rocket pods, whatever way I look at it. Like, I'm just not good at aiming the front of the plane. Uh, so let's go back to Inferno. We'll hit it again if we need to. All right, buddy. Time to die. Time to go down. Time to go down. You know what? <laughs> Come on, you gotta tell me that takes it down. What is this thing made of? The whole deck's on fire. It hits you with, like, a nuke and a missile. Two missiles, actually. And I hit you with the craft. How are you still going? It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for this episode of Simple Planes. If you do want to check out the creations, they are linked down in the description. Thank you guys for all the love and support on the Simple Planes series. Uh, kind of making a return to the channel. So it's been going pretty good so far. But yeah, thank you guys for the support. If you guys have any suggestions for future episodes, comment below. And we'll see you guys next time.